Hey guys, it's Jared Cook. I'm here at Fortress and we are going to, uh, to do an install on that modular upgrade uh, for our existing half doors. And so we'll, uh, we'll go through that. We're going to show you some tips and tricks and we're going to show you step by step how to install these doors. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start off uh, by doing the front door and then we're going to do the rear door on the driver's side and you'll just apply the same thing over to the passenger side and, uh, and we'll go from there. So, uh, so let's get into it. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this upper panel off. There's some trim on the inside that you'll need to remove, and then there's six bolts. You're going to need a three-quarter inch uh, open-end wrench and um, also a seven-sixteenths to accomplish this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. We've already removed the bolts. Um, as we look at this, you're going to have uh, four bolts here and here, and then you're going to have a bolt uh, that connects the, the uh, middle panel and the top panel. You'll have one up here and one over here. Okay, so after you take those off, we're ready to go ahead and start drilling for this door handle. And so what we're going to provide you with is this template. And basically you're going to use this top body line right here and you're going to use this front body line right here. And you're going to line that up on with this piece of paper, tape it in place. We show the hole centers and, uh, and then you go ahead and drill your holes. So uh, once that's done, then you're ready to install your handle. So you can go ahead and remove your template. You do have a plunger bolt that you will need to, uh, to install and we'll show a close up of that in the video. And then you have three pieces of hardware that you'll also install. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in real quick. All right, guys, I'll get that tightened up and then we'll come back for the next series of steps. All right, guys, so I've already, uh, uh, to start step two, I've already loosened the, uh, the striker bolt that many people have. Um, in 2021, we have changed uh, over to this new striker bracket. It's just stronger, it's gonna be a better uh, fit for the application. And for sure, this is gonna come with your, your modular upgrade, but for sure you wanna have this type of striker uh, on the unit as you install. And so what we're gonna do is we pull the old striker out of this middle hole, leave it blank. Uh, you have a hole up top and a hole down bottom. Uh, the hole up top is your, your thicker hardware. Uh, that's a factory bolt that we're gonna going to put in there if I don't drop it. Okay, so we get that one started and we'll get this bottom one started as well. Uh, quick zip and there is some adjustability built in there so that if you need to move that striker up and down uh, to align the door properly you can do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and and put this guy in there. We're going to see what our alignment looks like and see if we need to make any adjustments. Nope, we look really good the first time so uh, now what we're going to move on to is step three, which is putting that, uh, that upper door skin on, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, guys, so uh, what we're going to do in this step is we're going to put the uh, upper door skin, we're going to marry that to the lower. Uh, there's a couple of things that, uh, that are going to be tricky to see. Uh, on camera with, with me getting that uh, set in place. And so uh, the thought is, is that we're going to uh, move that upper door panel into place. And then uh, we're going to put in a bolt here in the front and also here in the rear connecting the upper and, and the middle panel. Uh, and then to um, finalize that step, we're gonna put a, a bolt and a nut here to 
uh, give us some stability as we move forward on the install. So let me get to that real quick. All right, guys, so we have the, uh, the upper door skin. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of lean it towards the outside. And then we're going to uh, line up that front hole. That's gonna be the first bolt that we put in here. Okay. Then I'm gonna go to the back and I'm gonna install that second bolt. And since I've got those two in, we're now gonna do the, uh, the upper hole at the rear that will mount this door skin to the existing door stiffener from that lower half door. And we'll tighten that up uh, finger tight, as, as tight as you can go. And then at this point, we should be able to step away from the unit. Uh, the door is at least uh, in, in place for the next steps. All right, guys, uh, to uh, somewhat complete installing this, this uh, upper door skin, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a nut on, uh, on this bolt up here that's connecting the upper panel and the middle panel. We're gonna do the same uh, for this bolt here at the rear. And then we're gonna install a, a stiffener with uh, three sets of hardware uh, that we'll put in, and then we'll, we'll tie uh, this last uh, bolt that is uh, connecting the upper door skin and this, uh, this rear stiffener as well. So let's get started on that. So a little tip here, uh, we're using a, a flange nut. If you have a box in 7 16 wrench, you can just slide that guy right in there. And then as you're going to put in this, uh, uh, or you're gonna marry this hardware, uh, you can simply use that to hold it in place as you screw that uh, screw in. And so we'll continue on with the, the rest of this, just a quick tip. All right, so now we're gonna put on uh, this uh, stiffener here at the front. Uh, it's gonna align with uh, these three holes right here. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and set that in, in place. And we'll install the nuts on the other side. And then we're gonna go to the back and there's <clears throat> There's one more piece of hardware uh, here that's connecting this uh, rear stiffener to the upper panel, and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and put that in place as well. So once all of that's installed, uh, basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna align this front part of the door, tighten it up, and then we're ready to close. Okay guys, uh, when, uh, in our next step, uh, we're gonna be looking at uh, replacing uh, the, the aluminum washers with steel washers uh, for the bolts that are, uh, are mounting the middle door panel to the hinge panel. Uh, basically what we want you to do is uh, to take all four of these bolts out one at a time and put steel washers in and then put your nylon lock nut back on there. We uh, do suggest just go ahead and leave this second one out. We're gonna go ahead and mount a, uh, a bracket. Uh, this is uh, eventually gonna have a window track that, that mounts to it. And so I'm gonna mount that real quick and, and show you uh, how we'll end this step. Uh, simply uh, bolt and washer on the outside. You put your bracket on you put your steel washer, and then you have your flange nut that will go on that. 
And once you, uh, once you have this installed, just finger tight. Uh, we want to leave it loose so that there's some adjustability when installing the, uh, the window tracks. All right, guys, we're going to talk about window tracks. And so there are uh, window tracks for the front door and there's window tracks for the rear door. What I'm holding in my hands right now is window tracks for the front door. And so this is to the front of the front driver door. This is that window track. You'll see that it has a different uh, radius there at the top. This is the rear track to the front driver door. Um, and so you can see there's a pretty stark difference between those pieces. Now when we talk about the difference between the front rear window track and the rear door window tracks, what we're going to go down is we're going to look at these three holes here, okay? Uh, on the front rear window track, you're only going to see two holes. For the rear door window tracks, there will be three. Okay, so I know that was challenging to follow, it's challenging to say, uh, but that's a good explanation and we'll continue to show you that uh, through the install. All right, guys, we're going to install the uh, rear window track on this front door. Uh, number one, we previously installed uh, this window track bracket down here at the bottom. Uh, you will, it has a tendency to want to hang down as such. We just want to go ahead and flip that up and get it, get it ready uh, for uh, this install. And so we're going to start off by installing this, uh, this upper bolt. You will be using button head. Um, Allen bolts with this uh, to get started. Um, and we'll go ahead and install that, uh, that washer on there. So as we, as we install this, you guys have probably noticed throughout this, uh, this install that you do have a little bit of movement to um, this door. This is really what's going to provide structural rigidity for this door uh, in the long term. Um, yeah, really starts to stiffen up after this point. So we'll get these three upper bolts uh, set in place. And then we're going to focus on the, the two um, bolts here at the bottom. There on this window track, there's two holes down there. The lower one is an elongated slot. The other one is just simply a hole. And that's where we're going to, uh, to install uh, these flange bolts. guys so now that you've got all of your hardware installed what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slide this window track as far back as you can and then tighten that down we might have to come back and adjust it later but that's going to give us the best shot to get it right the first time all right guys we're going to go ahead and install uh, the window and this front window track uh, first we are going to, uh, to take this window and you'll see that there's a, a latch attached to it. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, slide this in. You'll see that there are some roller bearings uh, at the front and rear of the window. We're going to slide that in. We're going to uh, push this up into uh, to place. I'm trying to catch. And then you should be able to let this rest. 
hands-free, and now we're going to install that front window track. Uh, again, you'll notice it has the nice radius there uh, that mates up with the square tubing. And uh, as, we, as we put this in, you're going to want this uh, edge trim to be in the middle or uh, fit right up uh, next to that, uh, that roller guide system. So I'm going to get... Uh, oop. Now here we're just going to install one of the bolts uh, because these two middle bolts are going to be used uh, for the vent window as well, uh, which we'll be installing here shortly. Okay. So we're going to install that, that top bolt. We're going to leave this one out. We're going to leave this one out and then we can go down here and install um, with our uh, flange bolts and washers. So we'll get that uh, we'll get that put on and start to ad adjust our our window and put in our our vent window at the same time. So we'll uh, we'll make some some quick adjustments now. As you're as you're looking at this window, it, it really ought to track up and down uh, pretty smoothly. What I'm seeing right now, though, is we're getting a little bit of rocking, and so we're going to move that that track in so that we get a nice track each time. Uh, so I'll hold this, um, and we will uh, see if I can get it finger tight to hold it in place. All right. Okay. Nice track down. Nice track up. And we latch. We'll be right back and we're going to take a look at the vent window and other aspects of the uh, install. All right, guys, so now we're going to install the vent window, and uh, a couple of, of uh, things to note is that the Allen head bolt, uh, button head bolt that we're going to use here is a three-quarter inch. We've used those in other areas uh, of our install, uh, and those were five-eighths. These are a little bit longer. It's going to help us get the length that we need to install this bracket. And so you'll see that this vent window bracket, you'll have one side uh, that is a little bit uh, further away. There's a larger distance here uh, than there is here at the top. And so um, when we put that on, you wanna put the short side to the top. You wanna make sure you have a washer on that, uh, on that button head. And we're gonna install these two bolts. There we go. <clears throat> and we're going to use flange uh, washers or flange nuts um, for this part of the install. The next couple of bolts that we're going to use that actually attach the vent window uh, to uh, this vent window bracket are, uh, are going to utilize nylon lock nuts. Let me see if I can get on this other side here and <clears throat> get that going. So we're in pretty good shape there. Now, let's talk about this vent window real quick. Um, obviously, we have our edge trim. We have the upper hinge, lower hinge, and the latch. Uh, so as we, we put this in, um, there's going to be a very specific way that you do the hardware on this. And so we'll walk through that here in just a second. Oop. Okay, so we're going to go outside and we're going to uh, place this hinge. And so you can, you can see that the lower hinge mount and the upper hinge mount sit on the exterior. They sit um, there on the exterior of, of that uh, vent mount. Now the challenging part to this is to, uh, we're going to put a bolt in here, hopefully soon. Let's see, we'll line those up. 
Now what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to bring this bolt back up and we're going to slide a washer right in between those two. That's going to help the long-term uh, durability of this hinge system. And so I'll show that to you real quick. And actually I'm going to go ahead and place this lower bolt in as well to kind of help keep us centered as we're doing this. And so we're just going to, we're going to pop that up just enough to where we can slide that bolt in or slide that washer in, I'm sorry. <clears throat> then we're going to put it in just like that. We're going to do the same thing there at the bottom. This one shouldn't be as challenging. We're going to slide that in. And voila, <laughs> we, uh, we've got the nylon lock nuts that we're going to use here at the bottom. Uh, depending on how tight uh, we tighten these nylon lock nuts will uh, dictate how much uh, uh, friction that you have when uh, opening and, and closing this window. I will say if, if it's too loose, the window will just uh, move at will as we tighten that down. We're going to try to find a sweet spot to where you do have a little bit of resistance. Uh, at this point, you should be able to go ahead and, and close that, uh, that vent window. We'll tighten the hardware and uh, uh, for the door portion, we're done. We're going to start to look at the B pillar here in just a second. All right, guys, so now we're coming down to the home stretch. We're going to put the B pillar on at this point. Uh, there is one bolt and, and a couple of notes to, to be taken here. Uh, there is a Torx head factory bolt uh, that you would have when you installed the lower doors um, that you would have uh, uninstalled and installed for the hinge system. You're going to take that lower uh, factory bolt out. Now, I will say, guys, it's vital that you do not strip these. Uh, I've seen it uh, from many, many years of dealing with uh, Polaris doors and Polaris half doors that if you really crank down on these, you can strip them and you get into a bit of a nightmare. And so uh, just, just food for thought there. Now we, we have this bracket. It's gonna help us hold the B pillar on. It's gonna help us, uh, there's some adjustability that's gonna help us align the B pillar. And so what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna take this factory bolt, we're gonna go through this flat side here, and we're gonna mount that right in here with the, uh, the radius portion uh, facing the outside of the unit. Um, we will leave that somewhat loose because we do wanna be able to adjust at, at this point of attachment. Now, our next bracket um, is going to mount towards the upper portion of the B pillar. And so there is a factory hole right above where your uh, seat belt attaches. And we're gonna use some quarter 20 uh, hardware and we're gonna go ahead and mount that in. This long face right here is again gonna be facing out so that the, the B pillar will uh, attach at this point. And you, then again, you also have uh, some adjustment to move that B pillar in and out to get the precise fit. All right, so we've got those things uh, finger tight. Uh, we're, we're now ready to install the, the B pillar, okay? And what, you, what we should take note of is that we've already removed these two factory bolts right here. Um, there are gonna be some nylon spacers that we supply in the kit that we'd like you to, first we would like you to feed the factory bolt through the B pillar and then put on the uh, nylon spacers. They might be a little loose, so you'll have to watch that. But as you set this up in here, just make sure not to scratch anything. Uh, get your, your clearances just right. And then you can go ahead and just simply uh, get this, this bolted in place using those factory bolts. All 
Okay, now we're going to install the last two pieces of hardware before we start the adjustment process. And so we're going to use a, a button head with a, with a washer and we're going to attach to not only our bottom bracket but also our top bracket and again we're going to do that to where it's finger tight uh, it's pretty close but then we'll shut the door and we'll take a closer look at the adjustment so i'll in install these uh, fairly quickly hopefully and <clears throat> we'll do that okay so we need to go up there <clears throat> okay, we'll get the top one put in there. Very nice. I can already feel that we might want to have to we come out with that bracket, so I'm just kind of pushing it with my thumb towards, towards the B pillar. Uh, I think we're in pretty good shape, so uh, we're going to uh, take a look at some of the adjustments here in just a second. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. There's not a lot of adjustability on this side of the B pillar. Uh, it kind of is what it is, so to speak. So we're going to go ahead and tighten those down just real quick. Again, you don't want to over tighten uh, anything uh, on this, but we do want a snug fit there. And so now we're going to focus on our two bolts. Uh, actually, I've got to say that where I've got it adjusted as I was putting that hardware in, it seems like a nice uh, sleek fit. I think our body line looks really good top to bottom. And so we just simply go in and uh, tighten that hardware down. That's uh, one of the things that I really like about these flange nuts is that you don't necessarily, once you get them tight, you don't necessarily have to have a wrench on the interior. Um, yeah, so we're, we're going to tighten those down real quick, and that uh, should conclude the uh, front uh, door installation, and we'll, uh, then we'll take a good look at the back, and again, everything you did on this side, you're going to do on the other side, uh, and so it's going to be the same install driver to passenger, so since we finished this front, we'll now move on to, uh, to the rear. All right, guys, just some final tips as, as we've completed uh, the, the front door. Uh, you always want to go back and double check that you've tightened down on your, or your hardware, uh, any of the, the factory hardware, any of the supplied hardware from Fortress. Uh, the other thing that you want to do is you want to check your windows, make sure that you're satisfied with how they're functioning. Um, the last thing that, that I'd like to, to mention is that as you go to shut this door, it is pretty important to make sure that you adjust, you adjust the, the latch properly and the striker as well. Sometimes you can get a little bit of a, a feeling of it dragging whenever you shut. And so that's something that uh, you can spend a little bit extra time and get a, a really nice uh, uh, latch system uh, in the way that it functions. So let's, uh, let's check that real quick. Feel pretty confident in that. Uh, so when you're looking at this latch system, we've explained it for years, but I want to put it on video. Uh, this is a dual locking rotary latch. And so what that means is that you're going you're gonna to close that door and it's going to lock once. And then you're going to close it a little bit more and then it locks twice. You want to make sure that you have things adjusted to where you're getting that second click. Most of the calls that I have on latches is uh, based on only getting one click because it's out of adjustment. Got to make sure to get that second click to have a nice secure close each and every time.